This is the Tinker Tar, and I think it would be the perfect instrument for learning centers in the music classroom. I just found out about it, and I went to get one. Uh, they're sold at Amazon, uh, Target, Walmart. They're $25, some are $21, and I got this with my Target Red card, 5% off, plus they were offering a 25% off toy deal, so I got this for $17. So the person who created it had recognized that ukuleles were being played by kids as a starter before guitars. And what if you created something that could provide another start to guitars? Uh, and so we thought, why not a one string guitar? And I think it's an amazing idea. So let me tell you about it. It is one piece and the fretboard is color coded. And it's Boom Whacker colors, but it doesn't act the same way as Boom Whackers. Uh, the colors are uh, half step apart. So I wouldn't necessarily want it to match Boom Whackers anyway, and I don't think it, I think it works better the way they've figured it out here. Plus it matches the book that they give you too, which is your basic um, folk song book. And it's nicely done. It's big, easy to read and kids can play melodies using the book. It kind of has a laminate co covering. It's nice and sturdy. Also in there are um, two strings, replacement strings, and you just take this piece off the back, put your string inside of there, put the back back on, put it up here and you'd have a new string. Um, when I first got it, the tuning peg was slipping a little bit, so I just took a Phillips screwdriver, and it mentions this in the instructions, and I tightened it a tiny bit, and I tuned it to C, and it's been holding um, a pitch. I've been playing for the last 45 minutes. It's been holding pitch really well, even right out of the box. Um, I picked this one because that's what they had at Target. Uh, they didn't have much of a choice, um, but I looked online at Amazon and on the Tinker Tar site. They've got so many different designs and they're just adorable and wonderful. I mean, can you imagine if your elementary school were the type that you, your mascot was the Tigers? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was introduced to this through a classroom teacher friend who I found out is getting a class set to do a science of sound unit in conjunction with the music teacher at her school. I thought, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Well, then I come to find out too that Dave Matthews, Dave Matthews Band, is involved somewhat. Uh, the person who created these, I think, has made guitars for him. And there's some video of Dave Matthews playing one of these. So, and my friend is a, a, is a huge Dave Matthews band fan. Maybe that's how she knew about it so quickly. I don't know. So anyway, it's great for many different things. But first, the science of sound, it's going to be fabulous because um, the string, you can put your hand on the back and feel the vibrations. Here's the ears cut out. That's where the little sound hole is. And... Then of course, they see how the distance gets shorter and shorter. So um, the learning that's gonna go on as they look at the vibrations and the science of sound is gonna be fabulous, as well as then playing songs. The reason I think it would be perfect for centers is because while some kids could sit and play with it for 45 minutes, uh, a lot of kids are gonna try it and you know, eight minutes in a, uh, learning station at a time would be just perfect for them to whet their appetite about how it's going to work and and so on and so forth. So I think learning centers would be fabulous. The other way I'd use it would be I'd use it K through five and I would use the book for everybody but I'd also use songs I'm doing in class, simple folk songs that would be easy to color code. I'd also, with the older kids, I would write out some riffs that they had heard, and I'd have them play bass lines uh, with 
with music, when, once I found out it would hold a tune pretty well, they could play along with something. Now, of course, they could play along, they could get a ukulele and play bass lines as well. But initially, this would be so great as an introduction into that. You could have them learn it on this and then say, let's take your ukulele and see if you can, if we can figure out how to do the same thing on a, on a four string instrument. All right, so I'm gonna end this by playing a little riff for you and uh, what I would do with older kids. This is a riff I use for ukuleles a lot. So anyway, here we go. Everybody had an ocean. there, didn't I? <laughs>